Content warning, sexual violence. No, this isn't the kind of sexual violence that you see in your typical Sherlock Yaoi fanfictions. I really hope both parties use lemons. No, this is the kind of sexual violence that happened to women. In fiction. And these moral guardians complain that it happens to women in fiction. These moral guardians came in again and try to make sure that fiction, a non-existent space, is a safe space for everybody. Hashtag fiction lives matter. And I mean it. That's what they're trying to make. They're seriously trying to make fiction to be a safe space for everybody. I don't get why you have to preach that you want to get rid of sexual violence in fiction when this is one of the best-selling movies of last year. Oh, but that one is entirely consensual. Okay. Does that mean that every scene of sexual violence in fiction have to be consensual? Do you seriously think that actual rapists in the real world would ask for their target's consent? No, they won't. That won't happen in fiction and that won't happen in real life as well. And do you seriously believe that science fiction fantasy writers that write these scenes do it because they hate women and they want women to suffer? Just... Let's get to their wonderful attempts on making fiction to be their personal safe space away from any sorts of sexual violence. A very unrealistic goal, but good luck for even trying. Now, the article starts off with a few, let's just say, very unlikely scenarios. Female protagonist busts the door down and the secret Um, this door? What is that voice? Oh, well, nothing, sir. I'm just doing my undoomed impression. Can I do it just for this video? Uh, okay, just, just the scenarios. Female protagonist busts the door down and the secret laboratory. She strides down the main corridor, a gun in one hand and a knife in the other. She's ready to fight, but she forgets to check her quarters, and two uninformed guards quickly sneak up and apprehend her, ignoring her attempts to warn her about Villain's secret plan to replace all human brains with robots. The guards quickly handcuff her and start patting her down, removing all of her weapons. Guard 1 leers at her as he takes his time searching the inside of her top. Yeah, I don't think scenarios like that would happen at all. I mean, wouldn't the guards, like, I don't know, shoot her? Oh, and I decided I'm gonna use fan arts of my personal choice as I read through the article, but the problem is some people are, like, asking the source of where I got said fan arts. I can't put all of these in the description because it's gonna take a bit too long, obviously, but I can link them all on the video. Yes, you cannot click it, but I have shortened the link so that you don't have to type much. It saves a lot of space as well. Besides, I really need to credit these fan arts anyway. That's the least that I can do for their awesome work, but I couldn't do so in my previous videos because it would be a tiresome chore. Sorry, won't happen again in the future. I'll credit them accordingly and provide you with the source, but keep in mind, reverse Google image search is pretty hard to do. Anyway, let's continue. female protagonist has decided to ignore her father's reprimands about how a real princess should behave. She's 17, damn it, and she gets to choose her own destiny. She's in the woods practicing her parries against a tree when out of nowhere, two young ruffians from the town stumble into the woods. They smell of sour cider and it takes them a moment to notice her, but when they do, they exchange a look that makes her nervous. They walk over looking casual, but something in their stride is predatory. She she realizes that the loose, comfortable dress she wears to practice sword play makes her look like just any peasant girl. She looks up and one of the young men is smiling at her. He grabs a fistful of her dress and before she can yell, his companion has covered her mouth. Is this like a thing in science fiction fantasy novels where men raping women is just like a regular thing? Wouldn't you just take some time to have some faith with men? Like, they're not all rapists. Who am I kidding? You won't. 
female protagonist lightly punches Bill, friend on the arm, as they part ways for the night. She shouts that she'll see him on the track first thing in the morning so they can jog together. She'll glad that she's found a friend in Space Army headquarters and that the hazing, which was constant at first, seems to have died down. She swipes her arm and a chip in her ulna buzzes as the door registers her presence. It slides open, but when she turns to swipe her arm again so the door will close, a shadow appears in the doorway. She startles, but it's only male jerk. Uh, wh what do you want? She asks, but instead of answering, he steps into her room and swipes his arm. The door closes behind him and he shoves her to the floor. Hashtag all men are rapist? He pins her arms down easily with one huge hand and fumbles with the laces on his breeches. She screams as the wizard slaps her hard across the face. She's stunned at the taste of blood in her mouth. Okay, okay, distort, that's enough. You're, you're creeping me out. You read this books and you know those characters by now. You're surely used to the idea that a female protagonist will be groped, leered at, grabbed, thrown to the ground. If she's raped, then there's a good chance that it happened outside of the narrative and she's tougher because of it. If it's an almost rape, then she'll kill the person who was trying to assault her and that will be her first murder. Or she'll be rescued by a male character who will then agree to teach her how to fight so that it never happens again. Or maybe she'll make a quip and use her newly formed superpowers to dispatch the attacker and she'll marvel at her newfound strength. It's come to feel inevitable. Hashtag fiction lives matter. Now, I'm not too familiar with the world of science fiction fantasy novels, especially recent science fiction fantasy novels, probably because I find fanfiction.net to have better writing than, say, E.L. James or Stephanie Meyer. But fiction is supposed to be in some ways a mirror to our real world. And like actual rape in real world, these things happen. And yes, these things happen to women. And yes, these things are horrible. Are you saying that when it happens to women in fiction, it's the same thing? Hashtag fiction lives matter? I can't believe that even the safest place for women, which are of course young adult novels, are now being threatened by these morons. Jesus Christ, way to expand your territory, I guess. So, I don't really know how you're gonna put this angle. Are you gonna like censor rape or just remove them entirely? I just, I just can't believe you're doing this to young adult novels. Like, I don't even, nothing is safe at this point. Let's just get through it. I want to be outraged by this. I want to be furious that science fiction fantasy writers seems to have an easier time imagining faster the light travel than they do imagining a world in which sexual assault isn't a constant threat. Okay, you really are trying to remove rape in fiction. Also, to answer your bewilderment, maybe because the science fiction fantasy writers want to write science fiction fantasy and not actually writing rapes and just using it as a plot point because, you know, rape happens in real life and rape also happens in fiction, so... Well, they're just going to use that as a plot point. It can be done well, it can be done not well, but just let them do that, okay? I want to yell at authors to give their female characters more interesting, dynamic arcs. As if they can't have dynamic arcs with rape? Case in fucking point. I want to climb up into my soapbox and ask, why is it that female characters can be subject to sexual violence but not physical violence? And then I want to answer my own question with my lips on a microphone. It's because beating a woman is taboo, but raping her isn't. Lady, do you live in the Middle East? The scenarios that you presented last time was all about sexual violence and rape. Nobody is comfortable with that. Unless you're one of the cologne rape gangs. If you read those scenes and you feel incredibly uncomfortable, well, I guess the scene does an amazing job at making you. It is supposed to make you uncomfortable. It is supposed to make you try to relate to the character. Like, let's continue. I love this genre, and I love these female characters, and when awful things happen to their bodies in the name of whatever the author has in mind, I want to be mad! Lady, that, that's the point. That's the point of that scene. It's supposed to make you mad. It's supposed to make you angry because something bad happens to your main character, okay? Like, are you trying to turn fiction into your own hug box? Hashtag fiction lives matter? I want to hate the fact that the rare instances of sexual violence against male characters are often treated as either humorous or the ultimate transgression, while sexual violence against female characters is to be expected. Um... <laughs> 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 
なくても大丈夫こ,この声はちょっとお待ちになってくださいましちょちょちょ冷たな何する申し訳ありません私もこのような気持ちは初めてであなたもそうなのでしょうおぶく Not exactly humorous, if you ask me, so. Citation needed! I have done the legwork for you! Journals, surveys, and other sources prove you to be wrong! Purge the uncited! But it's hard to get angry at the knowledge that for so many writers, sexual violence against female protagonists is a given. It's necessary, and it's accurate, and it's the first thing that comes to mind. Um, can you please wait for a second? Sir Tolkien, I am an amateur writer and I'm. I'm very conflicted. I only write horrendous fanfictions at fanfiction.net, but I, I still couldn't grasp the key of your brilliant writing, particularly at writing female characters. Please tell me, Master, how you do it. Half the woman raped. Uh, what? Half the woman raped. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Why should I have the woman read? The truth is that the scenarios described in most genre fiction aren't incorrect. They'll read as familiar to most women. Mero? Can confirm? No. All right. Even women who have never experienced rape will be familiar with the grabbing, the shouting, the threats, the constant, endless threats. Threats that are supposed to be friendly warnings about what's safe and what's not. Threats that are implicit in everything from school dress codes to rohypnol detecting nail polish. It, this article is getting painfully grim. I'm not too familiar with rapes in the real world, but fiction? Here's the thing. Do any of these authors writing fiction support rape in real life? Because in fiction, you need to tell a story, and most of the time those stories happen to contain violence because of the conflicts between the characters, not only to women, but to men as well. I mean, men suffer a whole lot of worse fates in fiction. Have you seen the shit that Subaru has to go through? Can confirm, Mero? I'm not the one time traveling into the past. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Wait, how the hell did you know that he- Sexual violence in genre fiction is not the only thing that reminds female readers that they are seen as vulnerable, as targets. And besides, art holds a mirror up to life, right? Why shouldn't genre fiction present our world as it is? Yeah, I, I mean, that's literally fiction. It's kind of a mirror to real life in some ways. So, what's your problem? But then I do start to get a little mad because, damn it! That's not what we do around here. We talk about universal experiences like love and love and fear and home and family. Or in other words... It is not about creating an intellectual space! It is not! Do you understand that? It's about creating a home here! But sexual violence doesn't have to be universal. It doesn't have universal? to be... Universal? I... What? Citation needed! Do you have any evidence to back up any of that shit that you've just been saying, or are you just spouting a bunch of pseudo-political bullshit? Positing your subjective opinion as if it's objective fact, and using a bunch of hearsay and rumor to try and lend some credibility to your flimsy position. I get a little mad, because we can imagine horrors beyond human comprehension, and yet still we insist that rape is the worst thing that can happen to our female protagonist! Yeah, it's the worst thing that happens to female in general! Human beings in general! We can open a rift between universes and allow a tentacle to herniate to a void in the sky. <laughs> stop. Stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. So let me get this straight. Tentacles? Things that typically rape anime characters on a daily basis. Okay, okay, okay. When I say daily basis, I was fucking joking, alright? What the fuck was that, Distort? Your Twitter likes page. Okay, that's... I get mad because we can do better. Some of us have done better. Look at... Q bunch of novels here. Look at them and ask yourself why their imaginations are strong enough to let their female characters have stories that don't include sexual violence. Ask yourself why those stories are so rare. Ask yourself and do better. Hashtag fiction lives matter. All right, all right, all right. Can you provide solutions in how we do better? Should we literally make sexual assaults not happening in fiction? Like, why should they not happen in fiction? I mean, if fiction is supposed to be mirrored to real life, sexual violence will happen. Sure, the writers can choose to not write it, but what if they want to? What if 
it is essential and integral to the part of the story. Are you just gonna stop them? Let them make whatever they want. You can criticize them, but let them do them first. You want it to be less frequent? Alright, do you have any evidences of how frequent sexual violence occur in fiction? Sir, I think she provided some evidence that sexual assaults do happen in fiction, often. Evidence? Really? Let's check that out, shall we? I've read 61 books in the past 8 months. 51 of those were genre fiction. 31 of those featured a female protagonist. Okay, what can I say? I like what I like. Of those 31, 20 included a scene involving sexual violence. So, two-thirds of female genre protagonists in my little sampling alone. That's a lot. Oh, of course. These are all completely irrefutable evidences. I totally wouldn't have questions like, what are the names of the books? What genre that these Why books the are in? Why is sampling size too small? What is considered sexual assault? Have you read through the proper How violent context? Do any sexual of the writers of these books Does Why do you read that it's in my life if your bitch and about it? How often do they share their characters development in some ways? Why do you find sexual what violence so easy to overstate but females? How is the science fiction? Other than those and a hundred thousand more, I'll be glad to just listen and believe. Hashtag fiction lives matter. In conclusion, rape is bad. Yes, we know rape is bad. We know sexual violence is bad. But rape is also bad in fiction. Why? Because my fictional characters don't deserve to get raped. Hashtag fiction lives matter. Someone please make this trending on Twitter for God's sake because my feelings. Hashtag fiction lives matter. Case closed. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more. If you wish, you can support me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.